Yo, what's going on everybody? Suru here. Welcome back to the channel. And good morning to uh, most of you or good night to others. But today we're going to take a look at an item I've been very curious about ever since this update dropped. And that is, of course, the Daisy Trophy. It's in the Touch of Magic shop. Are we allowed to decorate it? Can we design it? Can we throw motifs on it? I really don't know how big is this trophy going to be? Is there any hidden or secret features on it? I'm so excited. It is pretty expensive and I feel like not many people have went and got it yet because we were just unsure and obviously there's other things that, you know, have caught our eyes like the rock, the rock rug. We have, you know, the clothing options. All of them are very expensive and you can only earn 100 daisy coins per day. Now, if you guys do enjoy this video at all or you want to stay up to date with all kinds of DLV news, secrets, tips, tricks, everything, be sure to subscribe. We are right at 40,000 subscribers. Thank you all so, so much for that. And let's jump right into it. So I'm gonna be honest with all of you, I have been slacking on my daisy challenges. I think it's because it's not set at the normal reset time. So it's kind of 24 hours whenever you pick it up. It just completely throws, you know, even me off. And I really wish that it would just reset when Scrooge's shop does. So let's see, what's the challenge today? Um, costume rug sporty, the Lion King, playful and simple. That looks like it's gonna be hard. Let's see if I've completed it by some chance. Uh, no, of course not. Thanks, Daisy. All right. Let's see what we need. Um, Probably the Lion King. So this top tag right here, it seems like it goes back and forth. Sometimes it's furniture, sometimes it's wardrobe. I usually think it's like wardrobe. So I'm going to go to wardrobe. Um, Let's just do a hat. Let's see. Are there any Lion King hats in the game? Do, do, do. Lion King. Okay. There's a little uh, head wrap. Let's just slap it on here. Edit. And let's see if that completed it. It did. All righty. Let's go. I'm going to go ahead and grab my original outfit back. Where? And then we should have it finished. So that was a pretty easy 100 coins. Mm -hmm. do, do, do. Did I complete the challenge? Excuse me? What? Hold up. She said no. Oh, costumes. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okay. Wardrobe, costumes. Ah, uh, I guess we're gonna go with the Incredibles outfit. My character is slaying that outfit. Oh gosh, uh, I need to make some room. Do that, do that. Try and squeeze in here by the toilet, interact. There we go, edit. Now we should have it finished. And then where? Oof, these challenges are getting tougher and tougher every single day. Let's see, is it completed now? All right, we completed it. We're up to 600 Moonstones. So now we have enough to get this trophy. Let's see, um, can I see your shop? We're gonna go to furniture and there is a whole assortment of stuff. You know, you have like the touch and magic doors, which was like the first thing I went and purchased. We also have this uh, basic vertical cupboard. Eh, it's very tall. It's like almost as tall as the ceiling. It's really not that great. These are cool, the rugs, but the basic boutique trophy. I'm so curious how big this is. 500, so five days worth. We're going to purchase one, and it looks like if you want more, you're going to have to keep buying more and more. So you just have the one, I guess. Let's go ahead and order that. Oh, my sweet daisy coins are gone. All right, let's take a look at this thing. You know, the Press F. Okay, so you can decorate it. It looks like create. Hold up. Can I get a better angle on this? So we can change the color on it. Okay, so the first one is that. So we'll do like yellow just so it stands out. And the other one is the background color. Whoa, that's pretty cool. All right, we got red. And then you can do 50 layers on this. Wait. Oh my gosh. Hold up. You can kind of see it inside of here. What in the world? Let's see, what if we do that? Oh gosh, this is not what I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> what? 50 layers on here? Okay, you could do some flowers, I guess. And then if we put it on like that. Oh my, so you can decorate it, but I don't know. I really don't know what I was expecting to be honest. That's interesting. Okay, we have this. 
And then you have to do something like that. Oh gosh, that looks terrible. Oh, uh, let's see. Can we split that in half, rotate it, cut it out? And you could just keep doing more and more layers, I guess. I wonder why it doesn't show up. Like I can't expand it or anything. We can just kind of like move it, but look how buggy it is. It's like it wants to put it off of the thing. Now I'm no expert when it comes to touch of magic. So I'm probably, this is probably just user error and I don't know what I'm doing. But, okay, there we go. We're getting somewhere. Get some little uh, ripples, some waves going on. And you can use these features up here, but that just looks terrible. So this one is the one you really need to be using. And then you can kind of move it around. It's, it's a pain. I mean, I don't know who could really pull off something like this. It looks cool when you look at it like left to right, though. Let's see. It looks like it's a very small trophy, though. Let's put it up against the other Dream Snap trophy that we got. So it'll be in furniture, it'll be in customized, and then here's our trophy. Oh yeah, that thing is tiny. I'm sure we can put it on top of other stuff though. Also, look at this. You see what I mean? You see how massive this cupboard is? And you can place it outside. That is too cool. But you know what? I don't have more of them. I wonder how close I can put this with another one together. So if you're doing like an outdoor room submission, you could use that as a wall to make your submission look like it's an inside, like in a room. Because look how tall it is. So there's a nice little secret hidden feature to this one. You can't interact with it at all though, which is a huge pain. Like it's just there. You can decorate it, but there's nothing more to it. All right, let me go find this trophy. I got it not too long ago, so it's got to be like somewhere near the bottom. I really don't know what category it's under. Definitely after all of this stuff. Maybe it's got to be some sort of Disney item. I'm not seeing it. Let's see. Disney, is it under there? Okay, I feel like it should be under here. I guess it's technically not like Disney Disney. Maybe it's under miscellaneous. Aha, we found it. One place that you can actually find it, believe it or not, is under living room tag. So you could just do all, you could scroll down. There's other tags too. It's like bold and stuff, but you could just do a living room right here. I don't know why, because the item is so dang massive. And who would put that in their living room? I mean, I probably would at some point, honestly. So here we go. We got 10 of them now. That is what the two trophies look like side by side. So it's really small and puny. I don't know. I'm surprised they priced it at 500 and you can't really do much with it. So let me pick it up. We're going to take it inside the house and see if you can place it on a display. I guess it's, you know, for bragging rights that you were able to afford the trophy and then you can place it on a stand somewhere. Let's see. We might have to move Forky for just a moment. We'll place him right over there. And then we are going to go down to customize and slap it right there it's actually kind of cool though i actually really do like it and the fact that you can customize it even though it's kind of hard to customize i'm still a fan of it i mean it looks good it really pops like it's really bright and stuff and you can display it on different furniture pieces let's see um yeah i think if you only have the one you can't place any more down yeah i can't place another one down so you would have to spend 500 coins every single time you want to place one of these down so let's see, we're going to add new, we got this, create, and let's see, so yeah, you had like the different things, you could do like this to change the background if you wanted, pretty much anything just like how all the other Touch of Magic stuff is. I'm curious, if anyone has any crazy cool design, well, that's pretty cool. Um, drop it in our Discord, the link will be in the description of this video, I'd love to see it. But I'm sure some someone in here can come up with something incredible with that. But it's pretty cool. Uh, now you guys know. So that's why I try to get these videos out. Because I don't think that trophy was really on anyone's radar as of right now. Because there's just too many other really cool stuff. But that's my little mini review of that Touch of Magic trophy. Let me know if you guys are planning on picking it up at any point. And we're going to close out the video with just a little bit of voting. Okay, so voting this week is kind of cool. It's just like really interesting. We have top it off. So you have to get a hat and then pretty much create a scene and an outfit based around the hat. So it's like such a variety of different things this week. Let's see what we got here. We have a pirate theme over here. Oh, look at the little turtles they have. And they're actually looking at your character. I love the little bandit mask you have. 
A selfie mode? Okay, interesting. Kind of tough for an outfit week to be doing a selfie, but it's not impossible. I've seen it done. Oh, someone actually captured this. So this was like in the level 10 Oswald quest whenever the trolley was flying around. Now, I did it on stream, but if I didn't, I would have liked to leave it in here just to have the trolley up in the sky. So people are like, wait, what? They did put on the hat and then they got the trolley there. That's pretty creative. This one's actually really good, but the character has their eyes like halfway closed. I'm, I'm surprised they actually uh, took it like that, submitted. Their character looked kind of sad. So I'm going to vote for this one over here because that was some, you know, pretty creative. This one's really nice, but it's a little bit dark. And the, the headband is like peppermints. I guess peppermints are icy and cool. Maybe that's why the frosted hides. This one, though, they use a small frame shot. This one looks really good. Look how cute their character is. They got the little freckles. Look at the lighting. I love this one a lot. They did a really good job, especially for an outfit challenge. We got to vote for it. Oh, this one's a little bit dark. This is in the realm, the Beauty and the Beast realm. The outfit fits. Uh, Yeah, I think it's better. The coffee machines right here are backwards, it looks like. I'm going to go with this one. Ooh, uh, whoa, <laughs> they took this one in Daisy Boutique. I guess it's only fitting that we uh, select that one, but the mask doesn't really fit anything else of the outfit, you know, like Donald and then the winter outfit. I think I got to go with this one over here. Oh my gosh, tons of gold. This one they took in the mine shaft. You know, they got lanterns there. They were probably like, you know, I have a candle on my head. So where can I get some lanterns? Boom. The cave. Here's also a cave over here. I love the lighting. It's so bright, though. Sheesh. We'll give him a vote. Oh, this is super cute. This really, really is super cute. Got the daisy outfit. Got the little bow on their hair. And this is a custom room, actually. This is not inside of Daisy's shop, so they freaking nailed this challenge. Definitely getting a vote. Okay, got some camping vibes. This one's too cute, too. Got to vote for it. I really like the daisy dress. I think they did a good job for the level 10 dress. Someone else did the Lumiere outfit and decided to take it over in Vitaly's Mines. Interesting. I'll give him a vote. Uh, we'll do 10 more here. We'll do one. Ooh, this one's cute. Squirrel pose inside. I haven't really seen that too often. It looks like the fairy godmother is whipping her up a new dress. Let's go. Two, three. Oh, this one's cute. Over here in Oswald's house. Perfect fit. Four. Oh. I think I gotta go with this one actually. Five. We'll do six. Seven. I'm like purposefully looking at the hat first and then seeing what's in the outfit. Eight. Oh, this one's cute. They got the whole Monster Inc. Door, uh, theme and then you have Boo's door. I think that's nine. And our last one going to this one. Killed it. Love the outfit, the background, the filter. Everything is gorgeous. Alrighty. That is it for the video. Oh my gosh. There you guys are. Thank you guys so much for taking time to watch the video. I truly appreciate you all. Always have a really wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.